Hello everyone, welcome to another Figma tutorial. In our last video, we quickly showed you where Figma relocated fixed positioning into the scroll behaviors. In today's tutorial, we will show you what each scroll behavior does in a quick and simple way. I will use the main header here where it says Pantone Color of the Year. And if I click on the prototype stage, I can see the scroll behaviors. We see scroll with parent, fix, and sticky. To start with scroll with parent, as you can see, when I scroll, the header moves with the parent moving up and down the frame as you scroll. This feature is great when you want to mimic the behavior of scrolling up and down longer pages of content. Now let's switch this to a fixed position, meaning it stays in place. As you observe, when I attempt to scroll, the primary header remains fixed. This feature is handy for websites or apps, making sure that elements like headers or navigation bars stay invisible and accessible while users scroll through content. Okay, let's set this to be sticky, which means it stops at the top edge. As you notice when I scroll up, the header moves upward and then stops right at the top edge. This proves to be a valuable feature in UI design, especially when you aim to maintain consistent access to specific elements, such as headers or navigation bars, as the user engage with the content. There you have it. We've covered the fundamentals of scroll behaviors in Figma. Each behavior serves a distinct purpose in enhancing user interface design. In our upcoming videos, we'll check out some cool scrollable ideas for your design. Stay tuned.